Hi everyone and welcome back to the Astro Bloke channel. I'm going to do a video today to show you how to build a sequencing template in Nina. If you have one of the latest nightly builds, it has a new advanced sequencer um, that I really like. Uh, it allows you to set everything up to run your rig for the night. Um, and then you can, what you can do is uh, just in the comfort of your own home, you can pick targets and populate them into the uh, template that you've made and it can have everything ready so that come a clear night set your gear up and let you just press play and uh, Nina will take a lot of the hard work off of you and uh, hopefully um, reward you with a nice set of subs to make a picture so um, we'll jump into Nina and I'll show you how to make uh, a template a sequence template and then we'll um, put a target into that and then uh, hopefully if you use Nina and you're not sure how to use this that will help um, if you don't use Nina or you're looking into starting using it it is an excellent tool and uh, and uh, really worthwhile sticking with because I find it it runs my my gear really well so if we actually go to sequence and we go to the advance you've got this area here to build your sequence in you've got a start you've got your main sequence and then you've got an end if I go up to the templates you've got some basic ones set here already so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these to make uh, a sequence I've got one here that I made earlier I'm going to just if you make one and you're not happy with it or you want to ever get rid of it just drag it down to this bin and drop it and it'll ask you if you want to get rid of it and it's gone so let's build let's build a sequence so we build it in order so we want a start up sequence which we can put up here we then want a basic uh, target sequence which we can put here and you'll notice that these are in two separate boxes when we if we go to save any of these as a template these will actually save as separate templates and I want them to be all be one template I want to start a target and an end all in one template so if you go to the top level you've got these arrows if I click down you'll notice now that the start bit has been put inside with the target so you end up with it all in one box and we can do exactly the same with the end so if we bring the if we go down to the bottom and we put the end sequence in we can put it below to make it separate if I lift it up a little bit you see it goes inside the box and you'll see there's one box now that goes around the end the target and the start that becomes all one thing so you've got your basic uh, you've got your target uh, uh, coordinates here and they'll be populated even when you choose a target say using the frame in the system so we're going to give this um, template a name first of all so we're going to make it an RGB we use a mono camera with filter wheel so we're going to call it an RGB set we'll say it's times 10 so it's 10 subs of each one so that's 150 minutes so we're looking at um, oh I'm going to check my maths here three uh, two and a half hours um, so I do like to do that uh, let's just put in there times 10 of five minutes which will total um, 2.5 hours I always put a total in with my templates so if I've got a certain window of time I know I know whether or not the whole the whole sequence will run or not or whether I need to go out there and stop it early okay so that's the name so we come down here now and we've got our basic start and we want to make a few changes to this because I haven't got a dome or a flat panel cover so I can actually remove those okay I've got call camera to minus 10 unpart scope excellent so the only other thing I would add in there because I use EQ mod with my um, with my um, telescope uh, my mount control so if I go down to sorry telescope here it's got set tracking so I just set it to side reel and that makes sure that it does actually start to track I didn't have that uh, highlighted first of all and sometimes EQ mod it would come up and it wouldn't be tracking until you told it to so this makes sure that happens you've got some um, 
annotations here they're just giving you some guidance of what each section does um, once you're happy with what what you've set up or what you're doing you can actually remove that just click the bin at the end there because um, it just keeps it a lot neater and know what's going on so we're going to slew to the target it's then saying it's going to center and rotate to fit the framing system these we use plate solving so one of the issues I've had in the past is if my camera is not perfectly in focus, the plate solver doesn't work. So I always add in here, and there's two ways of adding in instructions. You can either click on the plus here and add an instruction, and it, there it is, or you can come across the instruction list here and drag and drop, which, which is what I like to do. So because I've got a filter wheel, I'm gonna change the filter to the red and I'm gonna run an autofocus because I've also got an electronic autofocus. There we go. And then I know now it's all gonna be in focus. So when it does the center and the rotate, the plate solving is gonna work. I don't need to rerun this autofocus. It's a bit further down, so I can remove that. And it then says start guiding. You can force calibration at this point if that's what you wish to do. Before it goes into the um, exposure part um, it has some triggers that it will check after each set of exposures so things like meridian flip um, another water focus if the HFR increase is above 5% I've got here also auto focus after a filter change well um, when I set my filter wheel up I actually focused each of the filters and put in the offsets so I don't need to auto focus after filter change because the offsets automatically change the focus for each filter change. Right, so that's okay. And then we've got here, right, we know how many exposures we're doing that. And we're gonna change this to 10 exposures times 300 seconds, that's good. Um, I've got dithering after every three exposures. Okay, I'm gonna change that actually to two. I think okay play about with that and then we've got we want this to run round 10 iterations okay so now we've got the actual uh, image image taking part the camera control now my gain for this camera unity is 398 the offset is populated in when you collect your camera. So mine is set at black point 24. So that will automatically come in there, but you can double check that on the night. So I need three sets. I need one for R, for red, one for green, one for blue. So if I come across here, you've got a copy, copy this set. So I can copy this instruction, copy the one below and then I can copy that instruction and copy the one below and it gives me three sets. So I can now go red, green, blue. Each one's the same. So it will loop through them, it'll go back up, check whether it needs to do a meridian flip, check the focus, just make sure that the HFR is within 5%. If it's not, it will do another autofocus. It will check where it's on and it's dithering. If it needs dithering, it will dither and then it will go back through again. Once it's done, it's uh, 10 iterations of this. It will then run down to the end sequence. So just gonna take these instructions out to neaten it up. Let's do that. And what we've got here is, let's just take that one out there. Warm camera, good. Park scope, yep. We've got closed flat panel. Don't need that, don't need dome. Don't need the dome shutter either. So I can take out the bottom three instructions because they are not required. Um, I may add one here though, which is and guide is stop guiding. Good. Okay. And you can change the position of all the things here just by using these little arrows. You can move them up or down the list. Okay. So there's my there's my seat. I'm quite happy with that. That's my my sequence. So if I come to the top here, this is the title, and I, you can see here it says, save the current instruction set and all of its contents as a template for reusage. So I'm gonna click that, and hopefully 
oh, it did do it because it just asked me to overwrite it. That's all. Let's go to templates. And there it is. RGB, 10 times 5 minutes, 2 and a half hours. I think I've got that right. So it'll be 50 minutes. There's three sets. 150 minutes. 120, yep, yeah, two, 2 and a half hours. Oh, God. Scaring myself trying to talk about maths while I'm commentating. Right, so now we've got this up and up and ready. What I'll do is I'll take this away, so it's like we're literally just starting from scratch. If we go to the framing tool and we need to pick a target, well, a target I want to image as soon as I get an opportunity is uh, one four nine nine, which is the California Nebula. There it is. Okay, if I say load image and then I'll just put my camera details in here, which is 2.4 and it's going to be a 288 focal length because I've got a new reducer and I'll scroll out. There we go. We got our, our frame there. And we can uh, adjust this to where we want. Let's put it somewhere like that. And if we're happy with that and that's what we want to do a photo of off we can say add target to target list and when we click on that it'll actually give us the templates we've got and there's my RGB 10 times 5 minutes so I can click it on there and that will actually save that into my target list on, under the sequencing or I can add this to a sequence so if I do this it will automatically I can actually go out and do that and it will add it to a sequence and I can actually start start running that sequence straight away this way is if we want to do say several targets and then on a night we can then turn Nina on we can go to the sequencer and then all we do is we click on targets and the target is here if I drag this across it's got everything in place the target the startup the actual sequence of the uh, image taking and then an end sequence as well and you can have a whole list of targets here so in the comfort of your own home you can sit there and just um, decide what targets you want frame them up how you want whether you want to do mosaics or whatever and then come the night you can just turn this on click the one you want to do press play and it will run um, at the moment this won't run if I press play because nothing's connected so I hope this has uh, helped if any of you have struggled with this uh, program I've been playing with it for a little while so that I understand it a bit more now um, if anybody's seen any glaring mistakes please let me know um, I do believe I'm still learning myself but uh, if you're thinking of using Nina definitely dive into it because I think it's a really really powerful program and it's free so it doesn't get a lot better than that um, and uh, if you do have any questions please let me know in the comments below and uh, thank you ever so much for watching and I'd like to wish you all clear skies. Bye now.